Welcome back to the Netrock server. How are we all everyone? I hope everyone is doing absolutely fantastically as per usual. I'm doing just fine, thank you very much. Ah, the trees are growing. Fantastic. I'm beginning to run out of wood, you see, so I'm, uh, I'm getting back onto the old wood growing game. I need some more. And my clouds are off for some reason. I normally play with clouds off, but actually, you know what, with clouds on, the world just looks a bit more different. Hey there. So, I've been very busy. We've been doing a lot of things here on the server. And I will get right onto those in just a moment. Just bear with me for one short moment, please. Lovely, and we're back. I suddenly got really paranoid. I thought, oh no, my, my mic isn't recording. But it is, which is just fine and dandy. So, the first thing that we're going to go and have a look at is over yonder this way. It is, of course, down here in the strip mine. I've been pretty busy, done a little bit of mining down here, trying to gather up some resources and stuff. And this is where our first big reveal of the episode is going to be. Because I have come across some favourable items. As you might be able to gather, I've come across... Silk Touch! Oh yes, I have indeed. And check out all of this stuff we've got now. I'm gonna just quickly change up all of here. Obviously, you know, um, there was some things in here that were there just to, uh, just to come here, everything. That were just there to fill space and stuff, but we don't really need those anymore. So I'm just going to put those along there, and we'll leave one space for an item like that. And all of the iron can go across there, that's going to be fine, as can all of the gold. The lapis, we're going to put those there, and then leave that there. Same thing for the redstone, of course, can go there, and then the diamonds are going to go just in there as well. So yeah, I've come across Silk Touch at long last, it's fantastic, and there's not a lot else to see downstairs. And I've forgotten how good, it's, how good it is to have Silk Touch, it's fantastic, and... As you can see, I've been using it quite a lot on some resources. I'm going to show you the pick now. We're going to just go inside. I'll drop all of this stuff off, and then I'll show you what else has been going on inside along with that pickaxe. So, nothing else has changed in this opening foyer bit. Down here in the storage room, again, not a lot else has gone on to the best of my, uh, my ability to recollect. And, oh my, I really am kind of out of space in this chest. I need to start moving things around. I can hear a baby zombie somewhere. That's interesting. And, oh my gosh, that chest is a mess. An absolute disaster. So I've dug out pretty much everything else surrounding the bridges going down to floor two. And over on the far side... What I have done is begun hollowing out the floor around the bridge down here at floor 2 to begin actually working on floor 2 itself. As you can see, I have started just here. And things are coming along rather nicely in that respect. I've put some iron bars up as well for some fencing. I think that looks quite good. It looks better than normal fencing, I think. I didn't try normal fencing, but I just think it looks a bit better. I might do something around these support columns as well, if I can think of something. At the moment, I quite like how they are as is, but I think maybe something else is needed. Now, the chicken farm, or farms, sorry, that we installed in the last episode, they are doing their job. These things are the dog's doodars, right? Look at this, full of eggs, full of eggs. These three chests here, you've guessed it, full of eggs. Look at them, you can see through there, they're not being sucked into the hopper anymore, which means that that hopper is also full of eggs. Same story on this side. If we bring up the entity counter, you can see we have 112 entities that way, some of those are probably eggs. And over this way, 107 now. One of those is definitely an egg, because I just saw it happen. But that's a hell of a lot of chickens that we have. And... I, I may have overcompensated a bit. I think that farm's probably more efficient than I need it to be. Never mind. I'm wearing a full set of golden armor as well. Look at that. Protection 2. Look at those boots as well. Morgan gave me those boots. Very generous of him it was. So, thank you very much to Morgan. 
And I have also brought back the fishing farm. This is a slightly new design to take advantage of some of the features included in 1.8, namely the iron trap door here. That lets us condense the size of the fish farm just a little bit. And we've also got this auto equipper thing here as well, which will automatically give me a fishing rod when I when the one I'm using breaks. And here in this chest is what I've recovered so far. That's a lot of stuff, isn't it? <laughs> all these fish here, that's plenty of things. All these sets of leather boots as well. Loads of saddles, a bit of leather. These books, some of these books are quite good. We have Unbreaking 3, Sharpness 3, Depth Strider 3, Unbreaking 3 again, and Power 4, Protection 3, that's quite cool. Five name tags, that's pretty awesome to have knocking around. And these bows as well, check out some of these bows. Power 3, Unbreaking 3, Power 4, Flame 1, Unbreaking 3, Power 4, Unbreaking 3, Unbreaking 3, Power 3, um, Power 4, Unbreaking 3, Power 4, Infinity 1, Power 4, Unbreaking 3, Flame 1. I mean, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty awesome. And lest we forget as well, of course, up here I have got my bow of awesome which is just missing a couple of enchantments to make it the top notch bow and this chest is where i keep it and there's a bunch of other things as well in here for me to explain so let's get on with it as you can see i have some splash potions of healing that is for use over at the skeleton farm that we have to help get some xp and some items and things like that i have a potion of night vision which morgan very kindly gave to me because i did some work for him over at his house and I'll be able to show you that a little bit later on because that's where we're going to be going today. Uh, over here I've got Unbreaking 3 book and a Feather Falling 4 book. They're pretty cool. As well as some Feather Falling 3 leather boots. This here, Feather Fingers 2. We have Unbreaking 3, Silk Touch 1, Efficiency 3. Looking to get Efficiency 5 on that at some point. But at the moment that's kind of eluding me. And over on this side as well is a bunch of enchantments and stuff that I did last time. I sh you need to go back to where you belong. Uh, between episodes, sorry. So, I've done a book here with Looting 2, which I actually need to put onto this wooden sword here to help over at the Skeleton Farm, so we'll go and do that. Uh, Bane of Arthropods 4, Power 4. I have Protection 3 book there, Silk Touch 1 book, and a Fire Aspect 1 book. Then, of course, this is my ultimate bow which is still missing a flame enchantment and a punch enchantment and I can also take that up to power 5 as well I, I might take that as well, we could do that and here is my pick that I'll use for getting resources I'm breaking 3, Fortune 3, haven't yet named I've got quite a few levels actually, we can go and do some of this and here are some fishing rods as well, Luck of the Sea 2, I'm breaking 3, Lure 2, I'm breaking 3, Luck of the Sea 2 and Lure 2, I'm breaking 3, so these can go over in the fishing farm also, I need that pair of shears with the Silk Touch book and Unbreaking 3. This is going to be expensive and it's going to cost a lot of levels, but I'm sure we shall manage. Just going to pop these fishing rods into here and they disappear, ready to be spat out at me whilst I am AFK fishing. Okay, I think that pretty much covers everything new that needs to be covered over here. We're going to head on over to Spawn, where I'm going to sort out the namings and stuff of these devices. Actually, can I, I have enough iron to make an anvil? I, I don't. I do, but I can't be bothered to wait for it to cook right now. So we'll go and use someone else's, which I'm sure they won't mind. Uh, let's go and do that then. Let's go and sort out all of this naming and stuff that I need to do. Be right back. Okay, so let's begin. We have you. What was it I brought you here for? I don't know why I have you. It was probably to rename you, but I'll do that when I put efficiency on you instead, actually. Let's put looting two onto this. Four levels, five to rename. We'll call this sword the, uh, the treasure taker. And that can go over at the skeleton farm. I mean, it's quite a decent sword, but it's only I only made it a wooden one purely for the purposes of exploiting the looting bug that you can do with that. The bow here can make into power 5 at the cost of 12 levels. 
that's quite a lot there. Will I still have enough levels left over to do this? So if I put Silk Touch on these shears, that's going to cost us five. This is going to be Web Weaver 2, because of course we had Web Weaver on the previous world, which had Silk Touch and Unbreaking 3 on it. So let's quickly do those. Lovely. And 17 levels left, which means I have no problems in making that a Power 5 bow. And we'll call this some form of other witty name. I quite like that as a name. Mr. Bojangles. There we go. So all we need to do now is just get Punch 2 and Flame 1 on this bow. And that'll be as good as it can be. And I still have four levels as well. How much will it cost me to rename this? It'll only cost us one. So let's, let's call this one Money Grabber 2 as well. Because I think that's what my one was called on the previous world. Wicked! There we go. Oh, it's night time. Okay, I'm going to fight my way home, and then we'll get on with what we have to do today on the server. Okay, that's all that dealt with. You join me currently in the uh, in the cow pen because I was running away from some from some danger. Now, me and Nay are discussing our religious leanings. She's uh, she is one of the Keepers of the Cactus. Uh, you will remember, of course, from a much earlier episode where we was doing a tour of Spawn and... Oh! Get out of here! We was doing a tour of Spawn. Actually, while we're here, I might need to check my post office. My, my post box, sorry. I, I haven't been to my post, post box for a long time. And... Ah, oh, yes, the, um, the cactus is over this way. She's a keeper of the cactus. She was out there looking for this sacred cactus and it was found. Ooh. Little stealth bomber you. And now that is how she chooses to lean herself idealistically, ideologically perhaps. I might be more on the side of the alliance of the allium of course, we have the floating allium all the way over in the distance. Is that it over there? Just above my crosshair? That might be it. I think I might be on the on the side of the alliance. So, uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Nothing's set in stone yet, but we will have to see. Anyways, that is slightly off topic. We today are going to Morgan's house, as I have already kind of mentioned. You might have an inkling for what we're going to be doing over there today. If you do not, then I will explain it to you after this minecart ride, because God only knows that those rails rattling along are very annoying. See you on the other side. So, here we are at Morgan's house, and as you will know, he pranked me not so long ago. Oh, he's uh, done some signs up here as well. He pranked me not so long ago, where he filled my house with chickens. I was very appreciative, because that's now gotten my chicken farm started. Thanks, mate. But, there was a better way around of doing it than that. Plus, lest we forget, he also... Now, you didn't see this. He also used my chicken farm without permission. He came along to get himself some food and some eggs, which I have not got a problem with whatsoever. But it does now mean that you are ripe for the picking, my friend. Ripe for the picking of... What books has he got? Hmm. Ripe for the picking of being pranked. And that is exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> now... What exactly is it that we're going to do? Well, I'm just going to chisel away a bit of the wall here. Don't worry, I'll put it back. I'll put it back. I certainly will. We're going to hatch some eggs. Tucked away here. Within his walls. <laughs> so, he'll just be walking around, and then all of a sudden, he'll just hear, cluck, cluck, cluck. What's that? Oh, don't know. He has a chicken farm himself now. Which uh, which I... Oh, no, no, no! Oh. This is... 
This is the problem with overfilling your inventory sometimes. Uh, he has a chicken farm now that I came over here and installed for him. Which I'm very happy to have done. But hopefully he will just think that, oh, that's his chicken farm going a bit mental. They're just clucking away and stuff. No. Tis moi. Oh, well. Oh, no, wait. Look, one can go down here instead. Ha <laughs> ha. This is how we do it. Baby. That's how the song goes, isn't it? This is how we do it. It's something like that, isn't it? Anyway, this is... Oh, no, don't die. Oh, damn it. Definitely should have bought more eggs. I've bought as many eggs as I could. I... Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> it's frog in my throat. I've uh, bought along as many, many eggs as I could, but unfortunately it may not be enough. We'll see how many we can get done. If it's not enough, then I will come and do more as and when. But for now, oh, oh this could be quite a labour-intensive prank. But it should definitely be worth it. <laughs> oh, love it. I am but an evil genius sometimes. And I, I, I'm i quite happy with this one. It's, it's nice and subtle. He may not even know he's been pranked for a while. Obviously, you know, I'm going to leave the signs so that he knows it's me. But, you know, he, it might take a while for him to work out what's gone on. Especially if we're suitably... Can you get in the hole? Especially if we're suitably vague about what we've done. This was a farm that I came over here and built for him. I came and built a nice little wheat farm for him. There wasn't a great deal of space here. But I, I made do with, with what I could, and I think it's alright. What you do, all the crops are planted there, and then you pull the lever on there, and all this water just drops down. Oops, not working yet. All the water drops down, washes them all away, just like that. I think it's quite a funky little design, to be honest. I quite like it. And then just flick that again. Need a button up there, really, more than a lever. It's quite a funky little design. I quite like it. I'm quite happy with it. Here's his chicken farm that I put in here for him. Look at that. They're all they're going mental. No point no point hatching any in the walls over there really, because they'll never get discovered. Oh I put one there. Because they'll just get nice and nicely discovered, but Ooh. It's a mushroom farm. That's interesting. Oh straight off the bat, that's what I like. Let's let's get some in here. Because this this will drive him mad, for sure. If we get some chickens tucked away in. Well, screw you! Get back here. If we tuck some chickens away in this mushroom farm, he'll, he'll never know what's going on. Ha <laughs> ha. Get in the hole. Smashing. Okay, I'm going to carry on with this. And I'll see you a little bit later on when I have put a good amount of chickens behind these walls. I, I need to think of a witty sign to write as well so that so that he he knows that that it was me and that he has been pranked. But I'll think about that a bit later. Here's a good spot, tucked right away at the back of the farm because He'll come up here. You can't hear any more chickens up the back here. And then he'll come up here just to begin planting. And then all of a sudden he'll just hear one clucking. <laughs> That's how you do it. As a gesture of goodwill, what I've decided to do is include a sort of... Ah, uh, what's the word? A guide, I suppose, as to where I've hidden the chickens. So that if... You know, he happens to be playing and it's driving him considerably mad as to where they all are. Then he can, of course, just watch this video and work out where they all are. No! Work out where they all are. Just based on... on where I've put them. There's a couple behind this wall here. I forgot to be recording when I put those ones in. I'll tell you what I'm also going to do. I'm going to put some underneath your enchanting table as well. Okay, buddy? Hope that's all right. <laughs>
<laughs> there we are, that's another one. Oh, go on then, have two. <laughs> oh, uh, no, I'm not digging. And we are finished. <laughs> okay, now I need to find somewhere to put the signs. Maybe just straight the ways along here, I'm thinking. Uh, or maybe just, yeah, we'll, we'll just go along here. Hi there, buddy. Um, thanks for all of those chickens you gave me. Oh my gosh, look at, look at that floating. Look at that floatingness. We can't be having that. We need to find a wall for these. Maybe, maybe we can just go along here. We'll go along here instead. Hi buddy, you recently gave gave me a whole ton of chickens, and I am really very grateful. The problem is that they now produce too much clucking noise. Please take some off of my hands, yours, and W. Wicked! Awesome! So there we go, got some extra things there. I might just put some additional lighting around here so that he pays proper attention to it because that doesn't look natural. Wonderful! Right, let's get out of here before he logs on. I think we've got bags of time but you can never be too sure. I'm going to leave that minecart there as well because that was his from earlier. Right, let's go! I'll see you back at home. Ah, home sweet home and, oh there it is. We, uh, we're going to check out the post office. I said we would just before we left to go to Morgan's at the start of this video. So I'm just going to quickly check it out. Lots going on here. Uh, some, uh, some new signs here. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I wonder if anyone else has had any post. Oh well. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh. Interesting. What is this I've got? That was for the cow farm, and thank you for your redstone work, so please accept this payment for your work. Oh, thank you, Morgan. I shall do so very much indeed. Oh, don't I feel bad now. Ooh. <laughs> Never mind. If, if he's got gold to throw away on making an apple, then I don't feel so bad. Because <laughs> I certainly don't have that amount of gold. Oh, wicked. Okay. Oh, yeah, tell me about it. Oh, I didn't hatch. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, I think. Thank you very much for watching the video, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please do remember to leave a like and a comment and let me know what you thought. And, of course, if you really enjoyed it and haven't done so already, make sure you whack that subscribe button as the support is very much appreciated and it always will be. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Have a good day. I love you. Bye-bye. Thank you.